I'm going to show you how to download and install Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express, which is a free download which you can use to develop Velocity applications. So the first thing we need to do is find it. I'm going to find it by typing download Visual Studio 2010 Express into my address bar, which automatically sends the details to a search engine. Alternatively, you could follow the direct link from the Glorsoft website. Once you find it, follow the appropriate download depending on which language you want to use to write your application. For this video, I'm going to download the C-sharp version. Click Run to automatically launch the installer once it finishes downloading. The installation is very easy, as you'll see now. We've sped up some parts to save time in this video. We're finished with the browser, so we close that. You can accept all of the defaults during the installation. Agree to the license terms, obviously, once you've read them. And I'm just going to deselect Microsoft Silverlight because we don't need it for this demonstration, but it's no harm if you leave it selected. OK, click Install. And we're finished. Now what we're going to do is install Service Pack 1 for Visual Studio Express 2010. So again, we'll go to our web browser and into the address bar we'll type in download Visual Studio 2010 SP1 which stands for Service Pack 1. And you can see it's the first link here. So we'll follow that. It's important to update Visual Studio 2010 with the service pack as there have been many bug fixes and improvements since the original version of Visual Studio 2010 was released. Again, we're just going to run the installer and we're going to choose the default options. And we'll just tick the box to say send setup information to Microsoft, as it might help them in the future to make their installers more robust or more feature rich. And the installation is now complete. It won't happen that quickly for you. We've sped it up, but it will look the same when it's done. So now if we have a look at our start menu, we have Microsoft Visual Studio C Sharp 2010 Express. Take a few minutes the first time you run it to set itself up, and now it's completely launched. There's one more thing to do. We'll just set up the online help, and we just need to tell it that we want to use local help if it's available, and use internet help if there's no local help. Your Visual Studio Express installation is now complete and you're now ready to install the Velocity SDK.